Hello world, Terhi here again. I'm playing with June Hip Kids and I'm also taking part to Summer Scrapping 2018 with Audrey Lager, Jagger. I don't know how to say the name, but anyway, she is sharing um, three different weeks during the summer, uh, sharing lots of uh, different kind of summer scrapping videos and she asked me to take part and I'm so glad to take, take some part for that. Lots of inspiration there, so follow it up. I'm sharing the link in comments. Uh, I'm starting to play with the June color kit from Hip Kids, and I really love it. It has uh, these lovely Vicky Putin stamps and dies, and also one shimmerous mist. It was kind of deep purple, and a couple of these paints from shimmers too lovely shiny orange and lovely shiny uh, pink raw berry I don't know. anyway um, what I'm going to do is that I'm starting to play with watercolors this came with one of the spring kits I think it was April or May or maybe March anyway I'm mixing up these watercolors um, I'm not a fan of using these tubes because Pans are so much quicker to use, but I really like these colors. I made this lovely little color swap, uh, swatch, what is the word? Swatch? Anyway, so I, I can really know what color to use. And then a drop of water and I'm ready to go. Uh, this is mixed media paper from Wiki Putin and I think it's pretty awesome for this use because I don't need to use any gesso or anything on the background I just can start playing and that's it and I'm going to do part parts of green and blue and lots of different colors because um, the inspiration for this layout came out from the Vicky Pudding stamps those lovely flowers and also because we have these July mood board uh, in Hipkit Club which has this kind of rainbow colors and I love rainbow colors especially on layouts so I wanted to do some kind of um, rainbow colored layout with lots of um, layers surprise surprise and lots of flowers too really really summer looking layout and the photograph will be of my daughter uh, walking with with the horse I'm taking care of now so it's really summery theme and this kind of painting is really fun because you can actually just paint you don't have to know what you are painting or how to paint you just play with the colors and see what it comes it might be something much different than you expected but also this is great a way to get used to new brushes if you have some new different brushes and you want to know how to use them which kind of um, what kind of um, position is good for different brushes and stuff like that but I'm not that keen on watercoloring and painting so I'm actually just <laughs> dropping these colors to the paper and I'm happy with that and also it would be much wiser to actually clean the brush between changing the colors as you can see the yellow is a bit um, brownish from the one side because I added <laughs> some purple in the brush when I do the yellow but who cares it will mix up anyway I'm also going to drop a couple of um, drops of these shimmer paints they are not watercolors they are paint and they are not mixing like smoothly and perfectly to the background and i think that's wonderful because um my goal <laughs> is to really have different kind of shades of colors and and textures for the flowers i'm going to do with the paper so now you can see that especially with the pink color there's lots of uh, different kind of shades and I love the lines there, there is and now I'm thinking that maybe I'm going to have some more green because I will have some leaves there was also 
one leaves, maybe two, I don't know. But I anyway used one of the leaf stamps too when I'm going to the next phase. You can let leave this kind of background to air dry. It will become a bit different than with the heat gun. But I'm a bit busy today, so I'm going to use heat gun and it will be a little different because the heat gun will spread the color colors differently than what it would be with just air drying. But the next phase is that um, I first thought that maybe I'm just um, stamping with black ink, really waterproof <laughs> black ink. But then I thought, you know, I want to do some embossing because um, these flowers are so cute and different colors of embossing powders will kind of repeat the color really beautifully. So that's why I chose to use this leaf stamp first with both white embossing powder and green embossing powder. The green I chose for this was um, maybe a bit too bright green, but who cares? Come on, it's a summer um, layout and it can be anything. Especially in this jar, this um, embossing powder looks really, really uh, bright. It's from Altenew and I was a bit scared at this point, but when I hit it, of course, it became a bit different. This happens with lots of different embossing powders. Even whites might look a bit different when they are heated and when they are not heated yet. Now you can actually see how the um, green leaves are looking there. But in the end you will see it even better. But now I'm moving forward with uh, stamping the flowers with surprise surprise yellow on top of yellow then pink on top of pink and so on. I also used white embossing powder on each color to kind of calm it down because the um, pink embossing powders and others were so busy and bright and I'm, I just wanted to make it a bit calmer. So now I'm fuzzy cutting all, yeah, all of these flowers and leaves. It took a, quite much time, so obviously I'm not showing you all of that fuzzy cutting. It would be so boring, but I like fuzzy cutting and I especially I like the result I'm having <laughs> from fuzzy cutting, so it's kind of fun. Uh, these Pink Fresh Studio frames came from Hip Kit Club June embellishment kit and I'm thinking which which frame to use. I'm not going to use it completely, I'm just going to cut parts of that because the photograph is a bit smaller than the frame and usually I'm not keen on using the frames completely but parts of that. And of course as I'm doing rainbow layer uh, layout I really want to use lots of colors so cutting out this and that and that <laughs> different patterned papers almost uh, I think I cut like four different patterned papers from the main kit I don't know but anyway lots of them and different colors and just making a lovely layering behind the photograph uh, and as you can see I have my 3d foams here here ready to go because I really like them. There was also uh, this lovely lovely yellow um, acetide sheet from Pretty Little Studio. It was, it is the, this um, really beautiful flower pattern and I think it's gorgeous but it's really bright so again I'm going to use it really small pieces but this is how I built the layout, just adding some layers, parts of the frame and then a couple of these ephemera pieces here and there and this is the planning phase. I'd, I'm not going to glue them before I actually know what I'm going to do, otherwise it would be kind of tricky to um, change my mind. So now I'm thinking how to set, set all these flowers. Maybe like this, but how to set the colors smoothly, 
from blue to purple and pink and so on and then I'm going to add some kind of uh, title for the layout uh, using the Pink Fresh Studio Cold Foil stickers and adding the photograph with Pretty Foam. But before I'm adding editing, I'm going to use these watercolors I have left over from the first phase when I was uh, just painting to the mixed media paper. So I'm just going to flick these to the background. This will be kind of, especially this is fun, but also it will give nice little mixed media vibe for the background, even though I'm not adding anything but just drops of colors. And then when I'm ready to adhere everything, that's it and I'm finished. Now you can see these little close-ups and actually see how the leaves are looking, both with green and white embossing powder and I really like them both. And I really hope that this inspires you some way and thank you for Audrey for taking me to join the summer scrapping week of July and I hope you are all inspired and thank you for watching and I'll be back again next week. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe. Bye!